Holy cow, guys. I bought another 3D printer. This one's a very high-end one and a very huge one, as you can see. What I get myself into here. So I've been printing a ton of stuff. I mean, my house is just littered <laughs> with stuff I've been printing. I have the Bamboo Labs P1P, and that thing is just absolutely amazing. And this is pretty much the maximum size I could print these dinosaurs on that machine. And this one's bed is much, much bigger than that. So I'm gonna print even bigger skulls. I might even do a bigger T-Rex at some point. Um, and in order to do that, you need a good machine with a large bill plate and for it to be quick. Cause even on the Bamboo Labs P1P, that dinosaur, the big one took probably close to 40 hours printing all the parts, 35 to 40, I would say. And if I did that on just a basic cheap 3D printer, it probably would have taken 80 to 100 hours. So this guy is gonna give me some quick prints along with huge prints. And now that this one's enclosed, which my Bamboo Labs P1P is not, I can now print with uh, different materials such as ABS and stuff like that to get stronger prints and then they're better for like outside and all that stuff. Because everything you see there is printed in PLA, which I love so far. I haven't printed in anything but that so far. So in this video, I am going to probably just take it all out of the box and then kind of show you the whole setup process of getting this thing up and running. Um, this is 82 pound printer and it's, it's just humongous. I don't think it's going to fit where I had it planned upstairs. All right, here it is opening the top of the box. And I must say they packaged this thing really well. And I'm very glad they did. Cause as you can see, this was dropped on its corner by FedEx. It is an 82 pound box, so very heavy. So someone probably didn't team lift it. And, uh, they even put these hard, uh, cardboard pieces on the outside of the box. So as you can see, it even fell and damaged this and broke the plastic piece. But I'm thinking and hoping with all this protection that they did, um, the machine should be fine. So let's go ahead and pull this up real quick. Let's first show you everything that's included off the very top. You got your hot end and nozzle, some accessories to install everything a scraper for the bed plate, of course your manuals, and a ethernet cable, as well as a flash drive to do software updates and all that. So let me pull this off and I'll show you how it looks underneath here. Wow, this thing is huge. Oh, might as well show you something I did just for kind of fun. I think it's pretty cool actually, is I found a gear and I thought, let's make a gear, well, gear wall that's 3D printed. I even um, made my own little supports for each piece. And you spin, it's amazing the tiny bit of effort it takes to spin this, but it'll spin the entire gear system. And eventually I'm gonna attach a little like Lego motor or something and have it just run this thing and sort of kind of just spin. And on top of all that, half of these are glow in the dark filament. So whenever it's night and very dark in here, some of these will just glow and spin. So it's actually really, really cool. Um, this is gonna take a lot of unwrapping, so let me unwrap everything, and then I'll show you as we go. All right, there it is with the first plastic off of it and shrink wrap. So let me go ahead and take off the lid on the top and then the door, and I'll pull these things out and then show you what's included inside, as well as this is a full color touch screen. All righty, there's how it looks with everything taken off and the box taken outside. Here's the door and the inside. As you can see, a huge printer. It's 330 by 330 by 315. The um, other one I have is 256 cubed. So much bigger. It doesn't sound like it's much bigger, but trust me it is. And I'll be able to print much bigger items. And hopefully this is as good as the Bamboo Labs because that thing is amazing. So here's some other stuff they include, a glue stick. If you're having issues with it sticking to the bed, which I haven't had issues with any of my printers yet, so I've actually never used glue. Rapid PLA, some black, your power cable, of course, and the spool holder that goes on the back. 
And then underneath that, they actually give you a dry box that you can set this on the back. And once it's sealed, you won't um, have to worry about moisture going into your filament. And this just sits kind of behind the machine if you don't want to use a spool holder. Pretty excited. I hope this thing does as good as it looks like it does. All the reviews that I've seen so far have said this thing is fantastic and looking forward to printing with it. Hopefully it doesn't give me any issues. If it does, I will definitely let you know along the way. I did buy this with my own money. All right, I'm gonna set this up and hopefully have a first print with no issues. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.